god, thank you, thank you, thank you! I was starting to think no one would ever stop. No problem. So what's the issue? Your car break down? I think so, yeah. I was driving and I just kind of... Stop. Yeah... I'm not much of a car buff, but I can take a look at it. Oh wow! Could you? Yeah. Can't promise that I can do anything, but I can at least check it out. That'd be great! Alright, first things first then. Something wrong? Oh no, did I break it? Uh, no, it's just out of gas. What? No way! Dad said I should have filled up before I left. charge my phone either. What am I gonna do? Hey, this might seem a little weird, but could you take me somewhere nearby so I can get some gas? How long did you say you've been stuck out here? Hmm, I don't know. A few hours, maybe? I've been trying to wave down everyone who drives by, but you were the first to stop. Hold on, everyone? Yep. That's probably not a good idea, you know. Why? Well, you know. A cute young girl alone in the middle of the desert? It's just asking for trouble. But you're a cute young girl alone in the middle of a desert? Wh what Y 
Yeah, but that's different. So, do you think you can give me a ride? I don't know. Please! It shouldn't take very long. I guess it's fine. I'm not in too big of a rush anyway. By the way, uh, my name is Marina. Thank you so much for helping me out. Amber, don't mention it. Why aren't we going the other way? Wasn't there a station a little ways back? It was more than a little ways back. I saw a sign a few miles ago that said there was a station not too far from here, so we're going there. Oh wow, I didn't even see that. You're really observant. Not really. even drive this thing. It's huge! It's not that bad. You get used to it. So what are you doing out here? Are you going camping? Seems like what you're doing is fun. Just traveling. What about you? Why are you out here? Oh, well, it's kind of silly. Don't most gas stations have it? Uh-uh. 
All the places back home only had cherry and raspberry. When we got sick of them, we just had to mix them together. But... I left my wallet in the car. How were you expecting to pay for the gas? Uh, I don't know. I just remembered. Fine. I guess I'll pay for it. Really? Yeah, yeah. And grab yourself one of those slushies, too. But make it a small one. You're the best, Amber! mechanic? What good are you if you're not? Who the hell would I know? Have the squirt tech underneath if you're so curious. that old, then I say do it. Cash is cash. It's not like anyone's gonna care. It better not take as long as last time, though. I'll be waiting for you slackers outside. Be all. Yeah, sorry for more boring than that other girl. Been a lot of folks passing through and stocking up the past few days. It's been a good change of pace. I'm guessing that's why you girls are here too. For what? I'm just heading out to California. You mean you don't know? About what? Why, uh, the treasure. Treasure? You telling me that you girls haven't heard of the treasure in the journal? I have. Oh, well, I heard about it on the news. It's kind of why I drove down here. You drove out into the middle of the desert for treasure? Sorry, but you've lost me. Not just any treasure, Missy. The miner's treasure.
You honestly don't know. Not a clue. Are you going to change that? <laughs> little feisty, ain't you? Not really. Just have stuff to do. Eh, fair enough. A little while back, some folks were going through all the trash in their garage. As fate would have it, they came across an old journal. It turns out the thing belonged to their great uncle. Or maybe it was their great grandfather. Uh, I don't know. Uh, some dead old man. Sorry. Uh, I'll try keeping it short. Anyway, after flipping through it, they found out that he'd struck it rich during the gold rush. If he struck it rich, then wouldn't the family know about it? They'd have to be pretty well off, right? Oh, I can answer that. He went back home to Missouri without any gold and told all his friends he hid it. No one believed him, though. <laughs> well now, looks like Sister here has been doing her research. Mm -hmm. Story goes, he wanted to eventually move his family out west and uh, dig his gold back up along the way, but kicked it before he could. The folks that found the journal ended up selling it to some hotshot publishing house. Now everyone wants to retrace his steps and find the treasure. Shipments have been selling like hotcakes. Just got ours last week. And people are really buying into this? Sure are. I've worked here for over 20 years, and never have I seen this many people passing through. Even the Banshee before you was here for some supplies and a journal. And where is this supposed treasure? No one knows. It's all scattered around the desert. They say the journal has hints to its whereabouts. Uh-huh. Marina, you said this is why you drove out here. Yep, that's right. But you don't really believe the treasure exists, do you? Sure I do. At least, I want to. But wouldn't it be super cool if there was treasure? Sure, it would be cool. But there's a good chance there isn't. And even if there were, do you know where to start looking? No, not really. I never got that far. I don't even have a copy of the journal. But I have to try. Aw, oh, don't be too hard on her, Missy. <laughs> After all, who could resist a good treasure hunt? <laughs> Ain't that right, sister? That's right! Yeah. 
Yeah, well, I'll believe it when I see it. Sister? Yeah? You go ahead and take one of them journals. Free of charge. Really? Yup. Oh, wow. Thanks, mister. Look, he gave me one for free. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Good luck on your trip. No way. Maybe it's further up the road? I can't believe it. It's gone. We could have just passed it. We weren't even away that long. How can it be gone? That is kind of weird, isn't it? Your car is missing! That's more than a little weird. Well, it's actually my big brother's car. He just lent it to me when he left for college. Oh, well that makes everything better then. Really? No! It was probably stolen. We'll need to call the police. You have a phone, right? I do, but... That's right, you said it was dead. And I'm guessing you left it in your car. Yeah. Well, that's just great. Don't you have one? Nope, never needed one. Afraid no one would call you? Not quite. from, if you don't mind me asking. Oh, I'm from Carlsbad. Or at least kind of close to it. It's a little out of the way. Carlsbad? You're from California? No, silly. Carlsbad, New Mexico. 
Oh, uh, right. How far is that? Hmm. Maybe two hours from here? Wow. You didn't get very far at all, did you? I never really seemed to. Hey, listen. You don't live too far away. If you want, I can probably give you a lift back home. Something wrong? Remember the treasure we were talking about at the store? Yeah. I know it's a lot to ask, and you've already helped me out so much already. But do you think you could take me to the first place the treasure is? Huh. The treasure! Could you take me to the first? I heard you the first time. It's just... You don't even know if this thing is real, but you've dropped everything to go look for it. And now you're asking me, someone you've just met out in the middle of the desert, to take you to it. Even though you don't know if it's real and you've just had your car stolen. Did I catch all that? Uh-huh. Why? Why the hell not? Hop in. For real? Yeah, for real. But only until the first location. After that... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! What, what are you doing? Hugging you, silly. Marina, please. You're all sweaty. Uh, sorry. I'm just super happy. Anyway, let's get inside. I'm burning up out here. So where's the first piece of the treasure? Um, 
Well... You have no idea, do you? That's not true! The news said a part of it was somewhere here in New Mexico. Probably. You have the journal? Yeah. Ah, here we are. The gist of it is that it's near a big rock and a bunch of little rocks. That should narrow it down, right? Yeah, to the entire state of New Mexico. That can't be the only thing he mentioned! There has to be more! For a second, I actually have a pretty good idea of where it might be. There's a part where he calls it a winged rock. Assuming my years of reading travel guides and brochures weren't totally useless, then I'm pretty sure that's a loose translation of what the Navajo used to call ship rock. There's a ship out in the desert? Whoa! Hmm. 
How long have you lived in New Mexico? All my life. It's a small mountain near the border of New Mexico and Utah that's vaguely shaped like a ship. That makes way more sense. I'm surprised you haven't heard of it. Things a landmark. Yeah. But hey, at least I know now. Do you think the treasure might be there? Don't know, but it's worth a shot. We don't have anything else to go on. Sure you don't want me to just take you home? No, I think I want to do this. All right then. Let's hit the road. So, do you like music a lot? Oh, um, uh, yeah, I guess. I figured. You've been playing those tapes this entire time. Though, I'm not sure what you'd call this type of music. Yeah, I've just been playing whatever. Mostly jazz fusion and alt country. There ain't some new age crap in there for good measure. <laughs> Most of these are mixtapes I made when I was little. Cool! Any names I'd recognize? Probably not. Aw, come on, try me! You know, Gabriel, Gertu, Weather Report, Donovan, Metheny. You have no idea who any of them are, do you? Not a clue. That's what I thought. Sorry, I usually listen to whatever's on the radio. It's all right. I could see how it might be hard to get into. My gramps used to call it road trip music. I still think it's nice, though. It's making you really happy. You think so? Yeah, why else would you be smiling? That's actually why I'm going to California. You know, for a music festival. For real? Where? 
not far from Palm Springs. Palm Springs? Like, the actual Palm Springs? Don't know if there are any other Palm Springs in California, but yeah, they do it every year for a few weekends. I went to my first concert a little before I graduated. It was so much fun. An entire weekend of that sounds super awesome. Nah, it ain't that cool. How could you even say that? It's the coolest thing ever! I wouldn't even be able to wait. I'd want to see all the bands. Sheesh, relax. It's not like I'm taking it for granted. It's just that there's only one group I know I want to see so far. Just one? Just one that I'm excited for. I'll watch a bunch, though. Oh, good. I was afraid you were going to head home after you saw your group. You crazy? I'd like to at least have a little fun before worrying about all the expenses I gotta deal with. Expenses? Uh, it's nothing. Are you in debt? Is it college loans? My brother said those aren't fun to deal with at all. Or did you just spend too much on your tick? I've been driving all day. I'm a little tired. Where are we? A little outside Albuquerque, so we aren't too far now. We'll sleep here tonight and drive to Shiprock first thing in the morning. Sorry about the clothes. I don't have any actual pajamas. You can sleep on the couch. It folds out into a bed. Oh, okay. All right then, see you in the morning. Hey, are you awake? I know I've said it a lot already, but I really mean it. Thanks, Amber. Good night.
Night Kiddo. finally awake. Uh-huh. And there's still some coffee in the... Oh, wow! Is that Shiprock? It's huge! I can't believe we can see it from so far away! We have to get moving now, so go get dressed or whatever. Ah, uh, sure thing. What the? Whoa, you think this is because of the treasure? I don't think I've seen this many people since the concert. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find that treasure! Just hold on a second. Oh, that's right. 
You were only going to drop me off and leave. Sorry, but I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. F for real? You're so nice to me, Amber. I, I think I might cry. Hold it in. We gotta think of a game plan first. Okay. I guess we may as well start by checking out the place. Sure. I think. This could get nasty. Maybe they're moshing. People did that at the concert. Just what the hell kind of concert did you go to anyway? Wait a second. Remember that loud chick from the gas station? A little. I was too busy with my slushy to really notice. Why? I think we just found our first lead. I don't have any! Huh? Oh. Uh, sorry, but didn't I see you at that convenience store yesterday? Oh yeah, that dump. Outside of Roswell, right? Yep, that was us. I'm Amber. The other girl is Marina. Mariah. Everyone here for the treasure? And they'd be idiots if they weren't. Hey, what do you know? You were right, Amber. You say that like it's a good thing. You guys here for the gold too? Not sure why else somebody would come out. To this place. The ray of sunshine next to me is looking for the gold. I'm just the ride. Step away from the gold rail! You are all getting out of hand! You aren't getting through, so I don't even know why- Um... No, 
Navajo Parks and Recreation. They are trying to keep well-meaning treasure hunters from carving up the rock because of its religious significance. Doesn't surprise me. This is a four-corner state, so there's lots of stuff like that out here. I think it's sweet that they're trying to protect big ol' Shippy. But it's a rock. So? It's only good for postcards and carving big monuments. Why is it such a big deal if people want to look for treasure up there? Well, it's not gonna make much of a difference either way. Why's that? You a non-believer? No, I'm just not a sucker. It's not very nice, Amber. Well, it's true. It's obvious that this is just an elaborate scam and everyone got ripped off. If I told you I could prove the treasure is real, I'd say you're full of it. Does that mean the treasure's real? Like, honest to goodness, real? Mm hmm. Yeah, right. Oh, ye of little faith. I said I could prove it, didn't I? And how exactly are you gonna do that? Come back to my base full of highly trained elite treasure hunters. Then I'll show you. Elite what now? Highly trained elite treasure hunters. Right. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. We'll pass. What? But why? Well, because... You said we needed a game plan, right? This is the best chance we have right now. Jeez, if it'll make you that happy, I'll do it. But this better be legit, you hear? I'm not in the mood to be jerked around today. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep my word. Hey! Stop it! I'm warning you to stay back! I have a megaphone! We should probably scram. Way ahead of you. Here we are. Base sweet base. Joe, Tess, buck up. We have guests. Oh, hey. Did you finally manage to make some friends? Blow it out your ass, slacker. Someone's feisty today. No luck with the treasure, I take it? Yeah, no thanks to you. Hey now, me and Tess were holding down the fort. That's a very important job. Is 
Isn't that right, Tess? <laughs> See, what did I tell you? Has she been like this the entire time? Yep. She hasn't moved since you left this morning. It's kind of sad. Please, don't think I haven't noticed you were on that couch when I left. Guilty as charged. <clears throat> All right. This is my team. The lug who's become one with the couch is Joseph, and the squirt is my kid sister Tess. Joe, Tess, this is Alyssa and Melina. Amber and Marina. Whatever. They are looking for the treasure too. Hey there, ladies. Hey, I'm Marina. It's really nice to meet you. The other girl is Amber. Say hi, Amber. Hi. Don't mind her. She's just grumpy. I'm not grumpy. You sound pretty grumpy to me. She doesn't think the treasure exists. Uh-oh. Mariah, we've got a non-believer in our midst. Why do you think I brought her here? If you think you'll be able to convince me that this treasure is real, then fine. But you have another thing coming. Come on! Where's your sense of adventure? Back in my motorhome. We can take you and your sense of adventure back to Carlsbad if you want. No thanks. Carlsbad? California? New Mexico. Go ahead. Take a peek. What? No way. Is this... That's right. It's gold! But how? You know the miner who had the treasure? That's Joseph's great-great-uncle. You're lying. I can testify for that. It's true. This thing is a family heirloom. More like it was lying forgotten in my basement until we stumbled across it as kids. After that, I heard great tales of the miner and his hidden treasure. She went to the library and found old newspaper clippings, making fun of them. Then, I made it my life's goal to find this treasure. She's been obsessed with it ever since. Help. That's a load. I saw you at the store yesterday. If you knew so much about the treasure, then why did you have to buy one of those journals? Another side of my family probably got the journal after he kicked it. We didn't hear about it until everyone else did. This doesn't prove anything. What are you trying to say, sis? Sis, I finished it. How many is that now? Uh, 44? 45. Oh, are you collecting license plates? Uh-huh. I only have five more until I have all 50 states. And what state do you have there? New Mexico.
At least yesterday wasn't a complete waste of time. That junker was a piece of crap. All the parts were rustier than my ass. Even the scrap metal wasn't worth it. Just be thankful we found it. We'd be busted if I hadn't salvaged the good bits. Besides, that money is going to keep us from starving. Uh, about that car you found. That wasn't outside Roswell, was it? Yeah, not too far from the store. What do you care? Amber? Her car was stolen outside of Roswell yesterday. It was out of gas, so we went to get some. Oh, crap. So? So? You stole her car and dismantled it! Joey said it was okay. I, I thought it was! Mariah gave the go-ahead! You told them it was alright? Yeah, so? It's your own fault for leaving it out there! How? How on earth is it our fault that it broke down? You know... Finders, keepers! It's a freaking car! Um... What? Here. You can have it. Amber, it's okay. But... Really, it's fine. You can go ahead and keep it, sweetie. Don't worry, guys, it's fine. Oh, God. Thank you so much. We're all really sorry about this. Right, Mariah? Yeah, I guess. Ow! All right, I'm sorry and stuff. Marina, are you sure? They destroyed your car. Yeah, but it was pretty run down anyway. <sighs> You're unreal, you know that? Anyway, we should head out now. We have a few things to take care of. Thanks for showing us the gold! Now I'm sure the treasure's real! No problem, ladies. Again, really sorry for all the trouble. If there's anything we can do for you, just give us a shout. Sure thing. By the way, was there a phone in the car? The pink case, eh? Yeah, that's the one! Uh... We kind of sold that, too.
So how'd it go? It went fine, I guess. Your parents are okay with all of this? Maybe not okay. But they understand. They weren't happy about the car, though. I think you were the only person who was. How couldn't I be? Mariah showed us that the treasure is real! You're going to believe the people who stole your car? It was an accident! They didn't mean to. Besides, they're nice. Thanks for the food, by the way. Well, it's not like I really had a choice. I could hear your stomach from the driver's seat. I wasn't about to let you starve to death on my watch. Plus, I was getting pretty hungry, too. you get a shake too? Coffee and fries don't really go together, don't you think? I'm fine. I don't really like sweet things. But it's super good! Especially when you dip your fries in it. That's silly. I can do the same thing with my coffee. If you put creamer in it? Ugh, somehow I doubt that. Besides, it would just ruin the coffee. I don't know how you can even drink it without cream, or at least a little sugar. It's so bitter. It's an acquired taste. You find flavor in the bitterness. That's why I think it's weird that you drink something like that. How do you mean? I don't know. You always seem so... yes or no about stuff. If you like something, then you do. If you don't like something, then you don't. You're losing me, Mare. What did Mom used to tell us when we didn't listen to her? Oh, yeah! Basically, you have a really thick head, Amber! Gee, thanks. Or was it a thick skull? Whatever, you know what I mean, right? I think so. Maybe. It wasn't really an acquired taste for me now that I think about it. Maybe I've always liked the bitterness. Is that a bad thing? think so. I actually really like it. It reminds me of Shiprock. <laughs> so I remind you of a rock. <laughs> you shouldn't say that kind of thing. People might think they're insults. S sorry
Hey, Amber? You said something about bills and expenses last night, right? I don't know what exactly you meant by that or what it is you have to pay off, but since we know the treasure is real now, I was wondering... Maybe you might think about sticking around to look with me? We could even split it! Or something? W well first off, we don't even know if the treasure is actually real. Mariah could be pulling our legs. I'll think about it, though. Really? I only said I would think about it. Don't get too excited just yet. I won't, I won't. I just think it would be super cool. How's it going, anyway? Have you figured out where the first part of the treasure might be? No luck. It's not like the guy drew a map or anything. He just jotted down details about the places he went to. Do you think Mariah was right and he hit it on top of old shippy? Don't listen to Mariah, okay? She doesn't know what she's talking about. Think about it. How would he even scale the mountain? He was traveling solo on horseback. I doubt he would have the tools to do it. And even if he did, I'm pretty sure he would have gone on and on about it in his journal. Are you sure he didn't mention anything else? Maybe something we didn't catch? Take a look if you want. My eyes are gonna start bleeding if I read it again. The only things he really mentioned are the rocks and the dikes around it. Uh, oh! No, not like that. I mean the rocks that branch out from the mountain. That's what they're called. Huh. What's the matter? <gasps> Did you figure out where it is? Maybe. At least a general area. We're going now? Hell no. We don't have any equipment. But we know someone who does. Come on. Let's go cash in a favor. It sure was nice for Mariah and her friends to let us use some of their equipment. Only after that Joseph guy begged her to. Sorry, the beeping's loud. Uh, what was that? Forget it. I'm not playing that game. Just keep listening. Oh! Did you find something? I think so! It's over here! Is it the gold? It's... 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 A soda tab. Damn it! This is the 
with one! If we find any more, we could start making a curtain out of them. Maybe we should call it a night. I'm sure we can find it once we're fresh in the morning. Yeah, that's no good. We can only do it now because Parks and Recreation isn't paying as much attention. We'll keep looking for a little while. If we can't find anything, we might want to assume the worst. That somebody else found it? That it doesn't exist! Jeez, it's like you've never even considered that it might not be real. But Mariah! Yeah, yeah, I know. Why are you so gung-ho about this thing anyway? If you're just in it for the cash, there are better ways to make money than dragging yourself around the desert. Oh no, it's nothing like that. It's just... It's okay. Don't feel like you have to tell me. I swear, if this is another soda tab... I don't think it is. The beeping is really loud, and it's vibrating a lot. Wait, it's vibrating? Uh-huh. It feels weird. Bedrock? I haven't dug that deep. It... it exists? It exists? It exists! Shh, not so loud! They might hear us! I told you it did! You it was I told you yeah you were right it's real should we tell someone what do we even do now honestly I'm not sure it's getting pretty late though let's pack it up for the night we can think about what to do in the morning
sound like a plan? It does, but... It's actually really real! <laughs> Shh! Marina, quiet! They're gonna hear us! You two are in there! You thieves better not still be sleeping! Sis, it's not even seven. Can I go back to bed? You're better off just rolling with it. For her, it may as well be noon. Open up, or I swear Joe's gonna bust down this door! Wait, what? Who do you think it is? Take a wild guess. It's about time! Do you have any idea how long we've been out here? It's funny that you, of all people, would accuse us of theft. What else would you call what happened to my equipment? I don't know. Borrowing? You loaned it to us, remember? Correction. Joe loaned it to you. I was forced to sit idly by and watch you make off with it. That's theft if I ever seen it. Looks like we're coming in. Good morning. Hey, you three! Morning! How are you guys doing? Tired. For what it's worth, we tried stopping her. So where's my stop? If you don't get out of my RV in five seconds, it'll be shoved up your ass! Don't worry about it. You guys are great. Hey, Tess. Did you hang up your new wind chime? Uh-huh. Above my bed. What's up with the fold-out? You two don't sleep together? Uh, what? what? Told ya. Damn it. Does that mean we get to sleep in tomorrow morning? Sure does, kiddo. Sure does. Anyway, give me back my equipment and we'll get out of your hair. Come on, just let them use it. It's the least we can do after tearing apart our car. And whose fault was that? What is this? What is what? The thing on the counter. It almost looks like... Oh, that? That's the piece of the treasure we found! Ha! Yeah, right! You're kidding! She, she's She's kidding, right? Nope. She's telling the truth. 100%. We found it last night. With your equipment. 
No! That, that's impossible. You're lying. Really now? Hey, Marina, why don't you tell her about it? Sure thing! It started yesterday after we met. Amber looked at the journal again and thought it might be near the smaller rocks behind the bigger one. They're called dikes, I think. Anyway, turns out she was right! But how? Why wouldn't he just hide it on the mountain? It doesn't make sense. If he was going back to Missouri... M Mariah? Is she gonna be okay? I... honestly don't know. You know, we've been looking into that treasure since we were kids. Never expected someone else to find it before us. That's more than I can say. I didn't even think it existed. There's that too. Well, good job anyway. You ladies seem cool, so if it couldn't be us, then at least it was you. You guys want to stick around? We could tell you more about it. Somehow, I don't think that would be healthy for her. Or you. <sighs> Come on, Mariah. Let's go make you a nice cold michelada. You two can keep the equipment. Think of it as an apology gift. Minute, thief! You just had beginner's luck. You might have found the first piece, but I promise you, me and my team will find the rest. You're on. Well, guess that takes care of that. Let's get out of here and go back to a proper base. Are you going to drink until you feel better again, sis? Shut up! Didn't Mom ever teach you any manners? You always said Mom is an airheaded ditz who wouldn't know good advice or a good man if it bit her on the butt. Oh, yeah! Sorry for all the trouble, ladies. See you two down the road. Were you serious? Hmm? About what? The treasure. You told Mariah that you were gonna find the rest. If you were just being nice and wanna leave now, that's fine too. You've already done a lot for me. And let you keep all the treasure for yourself? Hell no. Besides, someone's got to keep you from getting yourself into trouble. May as well be me. For real? But don't you have the festival to go to? Eh, it's still a little while away. I wanted to do some sightseeing anyway. Thank you, 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 thank you! 
Actually, I probably owe you an apology. Well, you know, I kept saying it wasn't real and stuff. Hey, don't worry about it. Most people wouldn't have given me the time of day. Yeah, but... Relax. Just figure out where we have to go next. You're my Lamessi, Amber! Thanks. A uh, gorge is like a canyon, right? Basically, yeah. Oh my god! Does that mean we get to go to the Grand Canyon? Do we get to go to the Grand Canyon, Amber? Not unless history decides to rewrite itself. There are lots of canyons with ruins. One of them is the Grand Canyon, but most of them have been cleaned out for hundreds of years. So we're looking for a place that was still being used in the 1850s. Hmm. Well, there is one place.
not the Grand Canyon. It's still in Arizona, but it's a different place. Canyon de Chez. The Navajo weren't chased out until 1863, so the timing isn't too screwy. Place is loaded with ruins, too. Oh, are they Pueblo in ruins? Uh, yeah. I'm surprised you know that. Yep, I've been reading some of those travel guides lying around. Super interesting. Hey, that's how I did it. It's the best way to learn. Anyway, Canyon de Chez is pretty damn close to here. So, it might have lined up with the route he took. Well, I can't be 100% positive, but... I'm pretty sure. <laughs>